Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about, well, this might be TMI for some of you, so um, if you're squeamish about feminine issues, um, then you might not want to watch this video. Um, I've come up with a few other things that people never seem to tell you about weight loss surgery and, well, about weight loss in general. And a couple things that have appeared to me that I feel I probably should talk about a little bit. One of them is just obscure, and that is the fact that you can actually lose weight in your feet. Uh, my shoe size has changed since I've lost weight. I went from a 12 to um, I'm a 10 or an 11 now, depending on the style of shoe. So, I mean, people don't really think about losing weight in your feet, but apparently you do. Um, so that's something that was just really strange. Um, you also, of course, lose it in your fingers as well. I, uh, of course, don't have my wedding ring on, and so I don't really wear that many rings. But that's another thing that can change as well, is your ring size. Now, the other item that I thought I would bring up that is probably a little taboo, but... Well, when I was larger, I um, actually when I would have my cycle, I would use two napkins um, to make sure everything was held in. And one of the things that I am discovering is now that I've lost weight, I, I no longer do that, um, but the napkins don't fit the same. Um, I seem to be leaking more um, because I don't, I, I don't really understand why, um, but apparently I've lost weight in those areas too, and it's not holding the napkin in the appropriate spot, I guess. Um, but that is something that I've noticed. Now, in my case, my periods have actually gotten shorter since weight loss. Um, even though I've changed my birth control, and um, supposedly that will make them longer. Um, actual full flow days are fewer. And I don't know if that if there's a scientific backing for that. I know hormone, hormones are stored in the fat, so maybe I have less hormones in my body since I have less fat. I don't really know. What I do know is that um, weight loss can cause your hormones to get weird. Uh, I've been very emotional since um, losing, well, in the process of losing the weight. Um, you know, dealing with a lot of, of mental issues that are arising and that um, I haven't really dealt with. Um, but part of this whole process is dealing with mental things that come up and to discover why you get to this weight in the first place. And you really have to deal with those things. And, um, yeah, emotions have been pretty wacky, especially around my period. I mean, I've always had PMS. I've always had cramps. Um, I had some mood swings, you know, everybody does. But I've noticed an uprising in anxiety when it's around my period time. And sometimes irrational thoughts occur in my head and um, I think it ranges from my insecurities that I still have um, but they seem to get worse around my time of the month and so um, it's something to kind of watch out for it doesn't mean you're psycho it doesn't mean that you need to immediately go see a shrink it's just your hormones do get out of balance and that is something that I didn't realize going into this and it's you know it will fluctuate with time it will resettle it's nothing to worry about just might make life hard for a few days so it's something to keep in mind as well um, um, I have had a few bouts of depression that I still don't really know why I was depressed um, day after Thanksgiving, I got hit pretty hard, and um, 
never totally figured out why I was so down. Um, but I was. So I just kind of accepted the fact that I was sad and tried to get happy again. Um, so there are some things of that nature that do happen. Um, one of the things is that once you lose the weight, you can get pregnant quicker and easier. Uh, in my case, I think my weight kept me from getting pregnant. Um, so one of the things that I did after I lost the weight was to get on a good um, birth control because, uh, you know, I'm older now. Um, certain ones work better certain times of your life. And now that I'm older, but I'm still fertile, and um, I wanted to be prepared and also, you know, to help with um, period regulation and stuff, too. Um, I chose a form of birth control that was non-hormonal because my hormones were all in flux anyway, and my gynecologist agreed to that. She thought that was a good idea, considering, you know, the uh, weight loss and everything, and... Um, so that is something else uh, to keep in mind. I did have a friend who lost the weight and she got immediately pregnant. And for her it was a blessing, but she never got the full use of her tool because uh, she became pregnant. And um, you have to eat more when you're pregnant because you're eating for two. And, and she never got her full um, benefit from the year of surgery. It's like your honeymoon time. That first year is when you lose the most. My doctor says that he thinks that I will continue to lose because I had so much to lose that I'll probably go for 18 months. Which is good because I'm not where I want to be yet. Um, and um, it's important to make use of that time. And yeah, you're going to want to feel like you should be eating more or celebrate or whatever. Stick to it as much as you possibly can because that's that first year is when you're going to lose the most. And um, if I could give you all one word of advice, it is do not compare yourself to others. I found myself constantly doing this and feeling like I was a failure because I wasn't losing as much as such and such was. And the truth of the matter is we all have our own story. We all have our different amounts to lose. And for some people, it's going to be coming off quicker than others. I was watching a show the other day, um, my 600-pound um, life. And in the first year, the guy lost 345 pounds. Okay, I, I would have left me at uh, 50 pounds. So, of course, I'm not going to lose that much. Uh, but um, you don't know where everybody started. Because not everybody tells you, oh, I started at 394 pounds, you know. It's um, it's their personal choice, and honestly, the people who are larger are going to lose faster. The people who are smaller, they're going to lose lose as much as they're going to use in, lose in a year, and then that's it for them. Um, but because I was larger, I'm he's thinking I'm going to have a year and a half, and you know what? The man's been right about so much already, including my final weight. Um, after a year, that. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Um, I would recommend him to anyone. So I know this is kind of a TMI short video, but um, again, I'm trying to be real about stuff. I am trying to share with you the things that I have found in my journey. And um, that's kind of a big one right now because uh, it's caused an issue for me a couple times now. And um, I don't know, maybe I'm using the wrong size napkins now. Who knows? I'll have to experiment and see what works for me um, because uh, I just, uh, I hate talking to people about this kind of stuff, but I feel it's important. That's why I thought I would share it with you. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend um, and I'm going to try to do better with the Vlogmas stuff, okay? Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.